I remember vividly being in that moment where I felt stuck, like nothing mattered, feeling helpless, hopeless, trying to figure out like, man, how do I climb out of this hole? Thankfully at the time, I had my daughter who kept me at least working and moving forward to provide. Otherwise, I was in this spiral feeling like I was living life on a treadmill, simply just moving in place. No purpose, no why, no meaning. I remember there was this two month period of time where I listened to the same exact song on repeat in my car everywhere I went, slipping by DMX, just listening to it every day. When you're in that space, trying to even get a glimmer of hope can often feel like an impossibility. But thankfully, my tipping point was when a close friend of mine invited me to go to church with her. I thought, what else do I have to lose? What options do I have right here, right now? So I decided to go. It ended up being much more than a spiritual experience. It pushed me to finally make a choice to try something, to try anything. This is where the importance of choice sparked for me in my story, my story of purpose. See, from that moment, my journey from that 19 year old who was depressed, hopeless, a single dad to the person I am today who genuinely loves and is living my best life, started with those early pathways to help me understand that life is a journey and that everything is moving. You see, when we don't choose to move, even one step forward is how we can get caught up in feeling like we're, we're behind because life is continuously moving with us or moving past us. Having now, at this point in my life, having trained, coached, and inspired thousands of people, I get to see firsthand the power of a decision, the power of choosing that no matter where you are, what you've been through, we all have the power to choose to reach for or step toward our higher potential in any given moment. That is what I have found to be helpful. Obtainable by anyone is just to make the decision to start, to try, to reach for anything positive. Now I know momentum is this big word, especially when you're in a place like that, but it all starts with the moment. My journey was not a quick one. My journey was not an easy one, but I know with absolute confidence that it was one worthwhile. You see, one of my core beliefs is that we teach through the clarity of our example. The first step is to truly believe that you're worth the effort. And I know that can be hard. I remember those moments where I didn't feel like I was worth the effort. And we need to do whatever is necessary to be able to look in the mirror, look in our eyes, and know that we are truly worth it. From here, we can begin to take that choice, that daily choice, taking just one step toward better, one step toward elevating in some area, any area of our lives. It is in making these choices as often as possible that we'll find ourselves in at least a 1% better space to step onto the pathway of becoming a better you.